What's up, everybody? This is Jason Lucky Bastard Youth Want, and you are going to watch the Fantasy Football Foosball live. Something, something fantasy. Let me be your fantasy live. Yeah. I think that song is really going to get stuck in people's heads. I dig it. All right. Something I like to talk about is like what happens when people are very, when managers of teams are unlucky with their uh, draft picks or their players. And some of the stuff is like, you can't predict injuries, uh, suspensions, maybe. I mean, what about leaving a game early? Uh, thank you, Antonio Brown. I really needed that in the quarterfinals. And now we have to deal with COVID too. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, but I want to talk about ways that you can also increase your luck in case you're running to situations like this. Um, what I would do is don't waste early draft picks on injury prone players. Um, Rohim Moster. Yeah, that guy is a beast. He's he can run fast, he's got the agility, acceleration is like crazy, but that dude just cannot stay healthy. He could be a top ten running back if he just finished out the whole year. Until then, I'm not picking that guy early. I'm gonna wait till the mid to late rounds to get him. But you know someone's gonna pick him up early. They're gonna pick him up early and brag about him, and then they're gonna be like, Oh, he tore his other ACL. Like, it's almost like every year. Um, I think one of the common things that everyone knows too is like you get handcuffed players. And the number one that comes to my mind is like you kind of get him in the mid round and it's going to be like Rashad Penning. Uh, Chris Carson is out of there. He has a broken neck. Can't play. Retired. Sucks to be him. And what I would do, though, is definitely focus on Walker. Um, Penny out of the last like 65 games has only played like 37 of them. And the Seahawks, they drafted Walker like in the 40. First pick, I believe, they want to use him. They want to utilize him. And I believe once Penny goes down with some sort of injury that he has, hamstring or whatever, Walker is going to take his place and has a good chance of taking that starting role from him. Um, one thing that does – sorry, I'm also like reading my notes back and forth here. Um, one thing that does suck is when you have a top five player that gets suspended in the middle of the year or they don't play to the value of their draft pick. Um, thank you, Chris Johnson. Uh, 2011, that was a great second pick for me. Um, I would, what I normally do is like if top five pick, I haven't been there for a while, but top five pick, you pick that player, great, whatever. You go on the rest of the draft, like you didn't have that top pick. Like you go, like you didn't even have a first round pick and you just build your team. Like, okay, I need to get this running back because I didn't get so-and-so in the first round, right? You just act like that didn't happen and you just draft your team. And then in the end, let's say that guy does perform like you're supposed to you're going to have a solid team because you went off of these guidelines um what else we got i think something that you also need to work on is uh it's not how you start it's how you finish you can have you can start off the year crappy but it's all about making playoffs baby and i think one of the things that you guys could do and uh in your draft picks is like keep an eye on suspended players like hopkins for one has a six game suspension but you know, you're not going to pick him first. No one's going to pick him first, but keep an eye on him in the mid-rounds because when he comes back after six games, I think you're really going to enjoy him towards the end of the year. He's going to come back fresh, and I think he's going to do pretty good for any team who's able to pick him up. Um, during situations where your team is just, like, underperforming, uh, you got to trade smart. You got to trade smart. Um, I think it was, like, another 2011 year where I had, like, Calvin Johnson, and he had, like, nine touchdowns in five games. I knew that guy was going to be able to keep that up. He was on pace for, like, 30 touchdowns. He was not going to get that with playing for the Lions. So what I did, I traded him for uh, two players that were that would help out my roster spots. Um, but you got to be smart about it. I'm not about going wide receiver, wide receiver, running back, running back. I feel like in a situation like that, someone is always going to get gypped, and – I just want to make sure that you guys like think about it. I would do one wide right receiver for running back, you know, running back for wide right receiver, whatnot. But for the same position, I I don't see the reason in that. I, I don't see the reason for it at all. As you guys, you just gotta be smart about it. Be smart because someone's gonna get gypped in those situations. But make sure it's not you. Um, and then of course, one of the number one things that you could do is when you head over to the waiver wire, pay attention to Tyler, the waiver king ward. He is a genius when it comes to that. Um, I'm really hyping him up right now to do as my partner. Woo woo. And um, I sometimes I don't understand why this guy even drafted because he does not finish the year with the same team, but yet he's always doing pretty well, always winning himself some money. And of course, to cap it off, you know, it's all about those late round picks. Um, you're, of course, you're going to have your top 10, 
top 10 round picks are probably going to perform. But if you can find those gems in the late rounds, the 14th, the 15th, the 16th, those make a huge difference and can win you leagues. Um, so when it comes to that, I would just do a bunch of studying and listening to the fantasy foosballers whenever you get a chance. So you get that extra insight. All right. Well, thank you for listening. Uh, this is my first video. It's very nerve wracking and I, it's like 150 degrees in here, I feel like. But um, make sure you like and subscribe and we will talk to you soon. All right. Peace out.